Hello everybody and welcome back to the King Fox channel. My name is Matt Conagher and I'm building a Kit Fox Model 7 STI. In this video I'm going to be pulling out the control column and to do that I got to take out the floorboards, pull out the center console because I also have to fix some stuff on the center console which I'm making a video on and I'll show you that in a future video. I got a problem on the right stick down at the bottom where there's a bolt that goes in there and I don't have enough access to get a socket in there or a wrench for that matter so that I can torque it up and that's kind of a problem. Uh, and I couldn't complete that portion of the of the build and, and sign that off. So you're going to see me signing that signing that off in the video. And then uh, I'll, this video is going to be two parts because total length is about 50 minutes. And I'm doing a little experimenting with multiple camera angles. So please let me know if you can see things better as I make these videos and try to make them a little more in depth, so you can actually see what I'm what I'm working on instead of just talking about it. So fasten your seatbelt, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. with the nuts back on each piece so I don't lose them. I gotta pull out the right stick. I gotta pull the right stick out, which means I gotta pull the whole unit out. Um, I've got a bolt down in the bottom that I need to tighten up and torque. It's on the to-do list, so I'll show you. Okay, it's this bolt right down here. You can see in the window. So I can't get a wrench in there because I hit down here on the bottom and it's hard for me to get a, well, I have to torque it. So in order to torque it, I gotta get a, a wrench on both sides. So, this side is equally difficult to get at. I don't have enough clearance in there. So, so I'm pretty much, I think I'm gonna have to take, take the control column out and probably torque that up and then see if I can put the stick back in. Then basically come up with a different way of, uh, of getting it tightened and torqued since I don't have enough clearance in there. So bear with me.
course the bolt on the inside is turning as I turn the outside. So I'll have to figure out if I can get something in the hole and get it on there. stick I can't get I can't get a wrench in between there and the other side and I need to need to be able to torque that up to whatever the specific specifications say so I'm gonna think about how I'm gonna do this and then I'll bring you guys back into the picture All right, one of my followers mr. Jeremy Kemp over in the UK asked me a question earlier about grinding out this this piece on this arm in order to get that that arm to get that stick turned in there. So I have to get a grind inside there. You can probably see that area that's not completely rounded out. I had to grind that out and really didn't have to take that much material off in order to get that arm turned in there. So we'll take a look at the other side. And on the other side hardly any grinding at all, in fact none, so just that little bit on the top side and he asked if we should think about grinding anything off on the other side and I would say no to both, I would just say do one side only because I did the one side and that seemed to not require too much work, uh, too much grinding in order to get that out, so, so that's what I would recommend, just grinding the one side. Hope that helps you, Jeremy. Thanks for asking, too, by the way. I think if I want to get this, make this accessible, I'm gonna have to take that nut bolt off. I'm gonna have to take that nut bolt off. I'm probably gonna have to take the sticks off because I'm gonna, in order to raise this piece up, I'm gonna have to turn that back out of that race, and I don't wanna do that.
see if we can get that socket in there. Get the right socket. Three-eighths. Not quite. I'm just going to touch this rough edge up a little bit with the, with the sanding disc. socket on there now so now I can torque that baby up all right 12 to 15 inch pounds three times so get that wrench on the back side there I could only get it hand tight the first time, so it's gonna take a few times to get it over 12 to 15 inches. But 12 to 15 inch pounds isn't that much, so about another turn, I think. And there's 10. That's helpful. Hitting ten. Still at ten. All right, there's twelve. 13, 14, so 12 to 15, that's 14 inch pounds, that's good. Let's go to the other side, We've got two over there. Ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty
12, 13 and a half, 14. One more to go. All right, got those three torqued up. I hope you guys liked today's video and the different camera angles made things a little bit better to see. I'll keep working on that, but uh, stay tuned to the channel for the next video, which will be coming out next week. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.